Hey, what's up? I'm Andrew Bacon with Field Treasure Designs, and I realize it's been since October that I've posted a YouTube video, but since we're all in quarantine, I thought it'd be a great time to tune back in and to show you a little behind the scenes video. So since I last saw you, we have moved our family from Lincoln, Nebraska to Denver, Colorado, where I've been building a real estate business, helping people buy and sell homes right here in the city. And so I've been pretty busy with that. So now that everything's kind of on pause, it's a great time to shoot a video and get back into YouTube. And so I wanted to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of our home and our workshop that we've kind of come into. We moved from like almost 3,000 square feet down to 1,500 square feet in our living and I downsized from a giant three stall garage, huge workshop, if you saw those in my other videos, to just a little single stall garage right here out back on an alley. So I'd love to give you a tour, show you some different things behind the scenes of our life and my workshop and so let's check it out. I'm going to start first with our workshop so let's turn the camera around, go out the front door and let's do this. Okay, so let's go out the front door. We'll do the entrance in a minute. Then we go out to this little walkway that we've got right here in the city, which is a little bit different than it used to be in suburbia, if you know what I mean. So back here's our garage. We use a code. And this is the shop. It's a little smaller than any shop I've ever had. And to give you a recap, I started my shop in Tyler, Texas. Then we moved to Greenville, South Carolina because I got a job promotion out there. And we had a little shop in the side of a garage. Then we moved to Clemson, South Carolina to get closer to my work. I had a dedicated shop there. Then I decided to do a career change. We moved to Lincoln, Nebraska. When I got into real estate, I had a giant shop, like a three stall garage, like an airplane hangar. And now here we are in this tiny little one stall garage. So let me show you kind of a few things on how I've taken advantage of it. So the first thing that you'll notice is the Polk workbench. So this was like the crown jewel project of mine because I knew down the road I was going to move and I needed something that I could set up really easily. So you can see that the Polk workbench is perfect. I bring it in, I set it up and boom, I've got an instant work table. I can also stick stuff inside. And I think this is the first video that actually took off on YouTube, which is kind of cool. So I've got my Polk workbench and then I've got the table saw here in case I need to rip something really quick. And then you'll notice that I've got a tiny little miter saw. So I haven't done the review on it yet, but I'm planning to release that. But I went ahead and got a battery powered miter saw to basically save space and be able to move around because I gave away that giant miter saw station to a good friend of mine back in Lincoln before we moved. So I've got this little guy and I'm telling you, it's perfect. It's exactly what I need for this little shop. Okay, so we open the garage door, which we'll show you our alley here in a second, but I invested in the Milwaukee Packout system, which is perfect. So when I moved, I needed everything to kind of be mobile and modular. And so as you'll see, I am really, really slimmed down, but I like it because I have only what I need, bare essentials, which in some ways is hard, but in other ways, it's kind of a lot like everyone else out there. I mean, not everybody has a giant shop to work in, right? So this guy's great. As you've, as you've probably seen, this stuff is pretty great. So I've got that. Then I've got a shelf system here that I set up to be able to put our personal stuff as well as some supplies. And I use a lot of the clear tubs to kind of keep some of the odds and ends all taken care of. Then you can see I've got my, uh, my quarantine stash of electric toilet paper, some water, and that's it though. I only have, this is, this is paper towels, so don't judge me, okay? These are only, this is just a little toilet paper. It's not a lot. I only buy what we need, so don't judge me. So yeah, as you can see, I'm juggling personal life and workshop life in one tiny little garage. You know, we've got three kids, so bikes, scooters, and all that. So the bikes go up high, and then I've got storage here to kind of manage some of our personal stuff that we're not sure if we're going to unpack yet, and some tools here. So having tubs and a modular system is perfect. So come over here and check this out. So this is my battery charging station. I have not released the video yet or the plans, but I'm, I'm planning on doing that because this thing is incredible. I delayed making it forever. And then finally, right before we moved, I decided to make it. And I'm telling you, it's perfect because I could hang it on the wall and then boom, I can instantly charge all my batteries. There was no fishing around and I've got different tools that need certain batteries. And it was just awesome to have that system that I can move, hang it up and boom, I'm good. Next is my L-Box Bosch system. So many of you have seen this in my other videos, but I've got almost 
all the tools I need on these two rolling carts and this awesome stack. So this has pretty much become the heart, the heartbeat of my work uh, shop. You know, so um, I can get to everything I need. I can pull up all my tools, and if I ever need to leave, I can take certain things with me, go on a job site or go help someone out and come back. And so because we've had to move a lot in the last few years, I've basically had to figure out how to go modular and mobile. So this is perfect. They stack high, so they're out of the way, and I love them. And this little toolbox I've had in every single one of my shops. I got it from my wife's grandfather, and it's become perfect for the essentials that I need kind of every day. And so I've got three drawers, and this is actually kind of cool if you want to check this out. So I put a magnet strip here, and then all of the tools that I, or the bits that I use really often are just right here. So I need to work on something. I grab my drill, and I've got just the basic stuff that I need, which has been really cool. So yeah, just super modular and really just the, the most used stuff. The Polk workbench is also great because I can put things underneath. So I've got my little compressor. I downsized compressors as well. So I've got the little pancake compressor, which is great. And then I stick the cord inside here for when I need it. Then I've got my track saw right here. And basically that's good. I keep that kind of clear. And then over here is my electric scooter because I live in Denver now and I actually scooter to my office downtown, which is pretty crazy. Don't worry, safety first people. Uh, I went ahead and mounted some of my small parts right here. I've got a blower mounted here so I can blow this out. And then of course I've got to get my corn holes, my corn hole boards mounted. So yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, before we go inside, I'm gonna show you out back here. So we keep our van behind the garage outside because there's no room and then check this out so yeah this is us we live on an alley and it's pretty wild and then up here is our back porch i'm not sure if it's going to work with the sun but we'll go up there in just a minute and show you all that good stuff so we're going to go check out the house by the way this is our neighbor's side so they they have this side because they own the front unit in front of us so it's an interesting townhome design which is awesome so let's go before we go in you need to see the front of our house So right across the street is City Park, which is pretty awesome. Take a look. So just go real quick. Okay, so this is our front door. It's the only door into our house. So it makes it really easy to protect in case everything goes crazy uh, for the, uh, the virus. But yeah, we've got a small little entry here stairs I was sitting on and right here we keep our shoes and right here is our laundry this is very very efficient living thank you then we've got our girls room right here which is pretty great a couple things I've done in here I got this bed off of Amazon, and fun story, uh, it came a little bit damaged, so I asked them to uh, send me this replacement. Uh, they couldn't find it, they couldn't do it, and so they offered me a refund. I ended up getting the whole bed refunded, which was pretty cool. So it's a great space-saving bunk bed. We did the Ikea shelves in here with all the cubes, and then over here we've got their awesome little art stack. So we like to keep it really efficient in here, and so, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude, I got like a Charlie horse. So a couple hacks uh, in the girls room I bought these awesome little shelves on Amazon that I mounted for all of their little books And then I've got lights for each girl under their bed because they love to read at night So I, if you have kids, I totally recommend that also We've been doing the Rubik's Cube, which has been really awesome during these days at home uh, a couple other hacks uh, another one that's great is I invested in this infant optics video camera system because uh, my wife and I, our bedroom is on the top floor, the third floor, and we want to be able to make sure our kids are good and safe uh, every night and without having to come down two flights of stairs. And so they can also talk to us, and it's actually been really cool. So, um, 
So yeah, we're gonna go through the Jack and Jill bathroom into my son's room. And it's pretty much the same. We got the IKEA shelving with the cubes, which is perfect. Got the camera for him in the corner, and then this mattress. Yeah. We decided to give him, yes, buddy. We decided to give him a queen bed so that we could also let guests stay with us when they come, since we don't have a lot of space. So found this awesome foam mattress on Amazon, which I love, and yeah, so it works out great. I've got the I've got the construction sign I made him a while back, and we just decided to keep this room simple. So in the entry, we don't have much space at all, and obviously shoes are a big part of life for a family of five. So we keep all the, the non-used shoes as much in the back, and then we've got some of our regulars right here. And then in Denver, we have to have these mats because sometimes we track in snow and all that good stuff. So I think these were Ikea, right? And so, yeah, this is how we organize it here. And then the kids' shoes are in these bins right here, and it works out great. And then above, we've got a little coat rack and the things we need quick and then i added this at the top just to kind of keep some of the loose stuff you know the wallet keys whatever that we don't use and then yeah it's good so let's go upstairs and check out the main level so this is our main level where most of the life happens at our home this is homeschool corner so this semester since we moved to denver we decided to homeschool so that we wouldn't have to move our kids around. So my wife is getting an awesome crash course in homeschooling, which actually turned out great during this whole virus thing because we all have to stay home anyway. So this is homeschool corner, got the little desk, chair, and then all this great organization. Is there, is there anything else you want me to tell them? Awesome. So that's cool. That's a good spot. And then right over here, we got our little bathroom, one of our garage doors to our patio, and all that good stuff. We'll show you that at the end of the main level tour. So this is our giant living room that is pretty much all a Target ad. So our couches are Target, this chair is Target. It got it on sale a few years ago. We found these awesome nesting tables, which I love at allmodern.com on sale. And yeah, so then we've got this great console that's built in and we actually found these dollar, dollar rack bins at Target. So they were perfect. Look at this one, all full of, yeah, you guessed it. My wife's oils. Any oil lovers out there? And, and look at this. This is like an artifact. This is a DVD player. Yes, because for my kids' homeschool, they have some DVDs to watch. So I had to buy them a DVD player. And yeah, the TV setup. I still need to mount this and get rid of these wires. I can't stand the wires. Got a cool fireplace. And oh, look here. We've got a diffuser, and it's going. What is that? Cypress? Citrus Bliss. Citrus Bliss. Shout out to my friend at, over at Native Maps for this awesome Denver map. So check those guys out. And yeah, that's our living room. So it's efficient and it's cozy. So now we move to a very, very special part of our quarantine house. And this is the craft stimulus package that we decided to help uh, the, <laughs> our country of our home with. So I went to Target, I bought all their craft stuff and we have turned the table to give us more room here for our family workout, which I'll tell you about in a second, but all of this is dedicated to crafting at home. And we have this uh, beautiful queen. Oh, those are little, little gems at the top of your crown. And these girls are going at it, let me tell you. So this is a, uh, this is a farm house table that I built and then I added the modern legs underneath it. And then we bought the chairs from, my, um, from Amazon and way cheaper uh, than we found anywhere else. So it works out great, but frankly, I kind of want to upgrade to like a cool maple live edge table someday. So for now it works and these girls are crafting and it's awesome. What are y'all making right now? Oh, I'm making um, this like flower out of a hand. Yes, awesome. And a, a fun tip for you parents, uh, letting your kids check out uh, kids crafts on Pinterest has been perfect. So they found these on Pinterest and they're making crafts and doing all kinds of stuff. So that's awesome. So yeah, having this open space, moving our kitchen table to the side has been perfect for doing the family workouts. We throw it up on the TV. It's a 30 minute workout. It's called Obey Fitness. I'll put the link down below for you. And it's really cool. So then we've got the kitchen. The bar stools are super handy for the kids so we can still eat and let them still do the craft thing going on and it's all good, right? The kitchen's super efficient, pantry, fridge, 
We love the open shelving. I love open shelving. I would do it everywhere if I could. And then over here is a Bacon family staple. So why? No, <laughs> it's just that's a part staple. So uh, this is our Chemex automatic. Okay, so we started by hand grinding our beans and then doing the gooseneck, you know, hand pouring, and then they came out with this awesome product called the automatic. And then I found this thing called the coffee sock from Tim Ferriss. His uh, blog recommended it, so we don't need to use the throwaway filters. Yay, saving the environment, one filter at a time. And so we grind our beans right here, drop them in, and then this bad boy does everything. And it is awesome, it stays warm. This is like, if this broke, I think our whole world would absolutely collapse. And so that's the coffee side, and then I'm also kind of a cocktail uh, enthusiast, as <laughs> some might say. So I've got lots of ingredients up here, I've got lots of little things here, and I just love making cocktails. I got some books laying around and it's just fun to do. So this is really cool. We've got these garage doors that go to our back porch, which by the way, our friends Zach and Amanda designed this house before we moved in a few years ago. And man, they just did an awesome job, didn't they? Nice buddy, watch out. So these are water beads, right? Brooke found these online. Look how tiny they are. Look at that. So when you get them wet, look at this. They like get huge. Isn't that crazy? So they're pretty cool. I think they're still on Amazon. So we'll throw you a link for that. And then yeah, we've been playing outside. Days. All right, last stop is upstairs. Yeah, last stop is upstairs. Your Majesty. Why do you have to forget to lock the door? Oh, that's just the porch, love. Okay, so this is our upstairs master bedroom, bathroom, and my office. So our bed I made years and years ago, but it had this really big farmhouse headboard. And I'm just over farmhouse, let's be honest. I need to go. And instead of redoing the whole thing, I just took off the headboard, got rid of that, and just made a really easy modern headboard. And so I think I videoed the project, and I think if there's interest, I'll put it online. But uh, yeah, so that's the bed. And then I bought these prints off of Etsy, and then we bought the frames from another place online, and we made these awesome prints. And yeah, it works out pretty cool. So this is my bedside table arrangement, and <laughs> I had a buddy ask, and so I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, it starts with my phone on a wireless charger and I actually put up this app called Bedside Clock every night and you can't really see it at all but it shows the time and then it disappears and it's vibrate activated so if I want to know what time it is I just tap the table in the middle of the night and I know what time it is. It's pretty cool. Got my chapstick, got my headphones so I can watch a show if my wife has, fallen, has already fallen asleep. Happens often. Uh, this controls our little TV and fire stick. I always have a Gatorade bottle. Shout out to my friend Birdman and uh, so I can stay hydrated. Then I've got iPad and Kindle down below. Boom. That is the bedside system. Oh, and then I have a long charger if I ever need a boost while I am uh, have my phone going or my iPad. So that sits there out of the way. It's pretty personal, but hey, whatever. So we've got the closet the bathroom, and the office left. So this is the closet. Guy's side, girl's side. And then we've got the bathroom. It's pretty nice, pretty big. Got the double sink, got the shower that I can do push-ups in, and then I've got the giant tub. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, here's our office nook. So pretty simple, I like things very clean. And so got the desk. I really wanna get a standing desk eventually, but for now it works great. Got the mat, which I highly recommend by the way. I was a little bit iffy on that and it works great. We also use the getting things done method by David Allen and that's our little inbox. So receipts, things we're processing. And yeah, 
Okay, this is my whiskey cabinet, kind of my trinket cabinet for a couple little things that are unique to me. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown here. So back here is a sign that my friend Trey gave me that says for train men only. He gave that to me because when we were in college, we jumped a train, uh, crazy story. Uh, I love photography, so that's a Bolsey Model C, which is really cool. This uh, Irish whiskey, this green bottle I bought when my son was born. So every year on his birthday, I take a sip, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't start the tradition, the tradition until later. So I drank a little bit. Uh, a couple of these were gifts. This is a uh, mate base uh, from Argentina. It's a mate cup, so you put tea in it. It's a really huge tradition in Argentina. They're definitely not doing that right now during the quarantine. So. Uh, moving down, we've got some really cool spirits. I've got two Pappy Van Winkle bottles, uh, a 10-year and a 15. Literally found them on, at retail. We were not crazy expensive, which is kind of cool. Some of my other favorites, Blanton's. My friend made me these because I love Topo Chico, so that's fun. And then, let's see, I've got the McAllen collection because McAllen releases a new, a new edition scotch every year. And I just, I got the first one, I got the second one, and I just kept going. Uh, this is a knife that my friend from Argentina gave me. So it's uh, a meat cutting knife, which is pretty cool. I've got a disc golf disc back here from uh, the a course in South Carolina that I love. And then I've got some baseballs because I played baseball in college and I love the Houston Astros. I'm sorry about the scandal, but still going to be faithful. And then I've been to the Field of Dreams once, which was kind of cool. So anyways, this is, yeah, a little cabinet, which is kind of cool. But anyways... Hey, thanks so much for joining me on my home and shop tour. I hope that you're doing safe and well during this crazy time in our country and in our world. And if you have any other questions about anything I talked about or showed you, do it in the comments below or put them in the comments and I will answer them as best as I can. So thanks so much and I'll see you on the next video. So let's go out the back door, or let's go out the front door and check it out. Blah, 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 blah. Start with the shop. So let's go. Wasn't too bad. That was good, but you just laughed in the middle of it. Heck yeah! All right, I'm gonna go again. Is it going? Mm -hmm. It's red flashing. Oh yeah, I can red see it on your thumb. It's red good. solid. Oh, there's the flash. Good. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, uh, hang on. Three kids, you know, three, six, and eight. Cool. Thanks for driving by. I hate <laughs> you. All right, here we go. So. Uh, by the way, let me just say, my wife and I were talking. These good and gather bags from Target, dude, they're so obnoxious. Like, reaching in, trying to pour. Does anybody else find these good and... There's people watching from in other parts of the country, or in... Never mind. I don't even need to talk about that. All right, so... so.